girl Angela over at Angela's Southern Comfort Dishes and Seasonings. Today's Southern Comfort Dish I bring to you is my homemade chili, but today we're gonna cook it in our Instant Pot or our Power Pressure Cooker XL. For those of you who don't have a pressure cooker, this is a Power Pressure Cooker XL. Um, you, it's the same as the Instant Pot, okay? Just a different name of a unit. Um, and I'll put the link at the bottom of this video where you can purchase this particular unit. The popping you hear is the unit locking in place and is getting hot, okay? So let me bring you on over here and let's get started on my Southern Homemade Chili. All right, so right now I have my unit set to saute. So I have about, oh, I have about a teaspoon of vegetable oil in here. And what I have here is half of an onion diced up real small and also two fresh garlic cloves um, minced up, okay? So I'm just gonna put those in here. I'm just gonna saute them, okay? Doesn't take this unit to get hot at all. So we're just gonna saute them until they get very translucent. And then once they get translucent, I'll remove them and then I'll start to brown my, um, my ground beef, okay? So I'll come back to you as soon as my vegetables are done saute. Okay, now that our vegetables are done sauteing, our fresh garlic cloves and onion. So next, what we wanna do is gonna add our ground beef. Let me get that. Okay, so now let me push this back out of the way. Also, I didn't show you everything that we're gonna use. Some people use kidney beans or any kind of beans they want to. I'm just using one can of Campbell's pork and beans. And this is a 15 ounce size of can, uh, pork and beans. I forgot to show you tomato paste. I probably use one to two teaspoons. I have my chili powder. I have my onion powder. I have fresh ground black pepper. I have some garlic powder, even though I have fresh garlic cloves that I'm using. And I have ketchup here, okay? So this is about one cup of ketchup, okay? And over here, we probably have about a tablespoon of granulated white sugar. And then I have about a half a cup of water, okay? And then I have my two packs of McCormick mild chili seasoning, okay? So I forgot to show you guys that earlier. I do apologize. So now I have about three pounds of ground beef, 80-20, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start browning our meat. It's open if I can get it open. You hear my unit is very, very hot. And so I like for mine to brown well done. I have my colander on standby so that once this is done, I can drain the extra fat off the meat once it's done. Remember I taught you to keep your trash can next to you. Now let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, so we want to brown our meat until it's completely brown all the way through. Like I said, I like to brown my meat well done. I know some people like to fix their chili you know, medium well, when everything I cook, I like for mine to be well done. So once we brown our meat all the way through, I will drain it in my colander to get the excessive fat off and then I will come back and then we will start to add our ingredients to the chili. This is gonna be an easy chili and it's only gonna take us, only gonna take us a good 25 minutes and it take longer at the stove okay now that our meat is starting to brown you want to make sure that you get all the big pieces out just you know just break it up you don't want big clumps of chili big clumps of meat in your chili but for those of you who like that, you can. For those of you who don't eat red meat, you can substitute this with ground turkey, chicken, and use the same ingredients. You'll have a wonderful chili. Okay. All right, so now that I've got all my meat broken up, I'm going to just go ahead and let this meat brown. Okay, and as soon as my meat completely brown all the way through, I'll come back to you. Okay, everyone, so our meat is nicely browned completely all the way through. I want you to see it. Okay, completely done all the way through. 
all right so next I've already drained it in the colander all right so next what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna begin to add our ingredients okay I'm gonna get my spoon I had on standby for us all right so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add probably about two to three teaspoons of um, this tomato paste here I don't want to use the entire can because it'll make it too thick and you know you don't want that there's like glue you don't want it that thick all right all right I want to scratch my unit up be sure when you are using these units to get you some good durable plastic where you don't want to scratch up your expensive where you're cooking um, gadgets here or dishes or pots and pans or whatever you want to call them okay because these things are very expensive to be replaced all right cool next those sauteed onions and fresh garlic cloves I'm going to add those back in here make a good old tasty southern chili on a day like today when it's bone chili outside and and uh you got up to nine inches of snow out here where we are it's up to nine inches of snow honey and it is frigidly cold i'm gonna add this one cup of tomato ketchup okay i got my hot dogs boiling on the stove honey nothing like a good old pot of fresh homemade chili some hot dogs now, honey if you ain't got no hot dog buns don't you go stressing out over there honey listen you know how mama and grandmama did it honey get you some white bread it's just as good well honey you ain't even got to have no bread all right you don't even have to have any bread you can just eat it as it is honey it's too cold to be worried about a piece of bread some hot dog buns white bread is just as good amen my mama get her a nap honey all right next i want to add our sugar and this is like probably two to three that's two teaspoons i can tell you that already then I'm going to add my McCormick mild chili. If you like spicy, go ahead and add you some spicy chili. I, I can't do that. So I'm going to have me some mild chili. And then I'm going to open. Remember I told you to keep your little trash can on standby. So I'm going to add this in here. So that's two packs I'm adding. Mmm, smells good. And we haven't even got to the good part. All right, cool. So then I'm gonna add my chili powder. Whatever brand you use is fine, as long as it's chili powder. Um, this is the Freedom's Choice, which is the military brand I shop on base. Okay, so I probably put three to two to three tablespoons in there. Next, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of garlic powder. Love me some garlic. Now I know I have some fresh garlic cloves in there, so I got about a teaspoon of that. Okay. And I'm going to put me in some onion powder. Honey, season to taste. That's what Mama tell y'all, honey. Season to taste. So that's about three tablespoons. Honey, I do this all the time. I already know how to do it. Then I got my fresh ground black pepper. Now, you know me and the black pepper don't have a good time together, so I'm going to stand back. All right. Just black pepper in there. Put about two to three tablespoons in there. Season your stuff right on up. So we got everything in there. We good to go. So then I'm gonna add this half a cup of water, okay? All right. So then we just gotta mix. Mix very well. And trust me when I tell you this is going to be so good. Trust me. Put my little sea salt in here. Don't wanna do too much. So that's about a teaspoon, if that. Mm, it smells so good. Make sure you mix all your ingredients well. Be sure to stir completely from the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take this can and get me, excuse me for one minute, everyone, I have to Hurry up and turn my fire down on the stove. So what I did is add a cup of hot water in here. A can of hot water, should I say. It doesn't matter if it's cold or hot, honey. Just as long as you get some water if you don't have any beef broth. Okay, so I just added a cup of hot water in here. And so now what we're going to do. 
is we're just gonna go ahead and put this on the cook. Be sure to stir completely all your ingredients. I wanna show you exactly what it looks like. But I think I'm gonna add me a little bit more of um, chili powder, okay? Just a little bit more. All right, cool beans. All right, then I think I'm gonna come back again with a little bit more. And it's probably about half a can. All right, let's see. You wanna be sure to taste your food to make sure that it's seasoned all the way really well. chili looks like let me show you I probably can't see it too much but let me give me a spoon let mama let mama taste her um, chili make sure I've seasoned it just right let me see. tastes just well okay everyone I'm gonna get my top and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this to All right, cool. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this on the soup stew. And it's gonna cook, but I'm gonna adjust the time. Instead of 10 minutes, I'm gonna put it on for 25 minutes and let it cook. And once it's finished, mama come back and show you the final outcome. Okay, now it's cooking. See you soon. Okay, everyone, so our chili is completely done. The pressure has been released and the valve is down in the back. So listen, honey, it's nine inches of snow outside, it's cold. Mama got her a piece of white bread and a hot dog, honey. We're going to get our homemade chili. Okay. Oh, smells good, too. Put my top right there on the stove. Mm-hmm. Smells so good. Mm-hmm. Just going to get me a little bit more. My spoon here from earlier. Put my top back on. Push my bowl over, honey. Listen, I don't need anything, honey. I can get me some onions on here, some relish, some mustard. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This chili is good. When I tell you, you have to try this chili. This chili is so doggone good. You have to try. Uh oh, Jesus. You have to try this chili. It is delicious. It's seasoning just well. I'm trying to tell y'all for the one daggone time. Get me a piece of hot dog to go with it. Give me a little bit of everything to go with it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, this chili is so damn delicious. You're gonna love this chili. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Share this recipe. Share this video. You're going to love this chili. The full description will be at the bottom of my video, as of all my other videos I always done. I hope you guys, if you're in the Midwest like we are, where it's <laughs> brutally cold, <laughs> please, whatever you do, stay warm. Mm. It's so cold up here, honey. If you put a soda outside in a bottle or a can, it'll be frozen instantly within one, month, one moment. That's how cold it is. The wind chill is like negative 20. This is a perfect day for a pot of homemade chili. You saw me do it. And actually, this didn't even take the full 20 minutes. It took 15 minutes. You can do this. Share this video. Share my pages. Follow me on Instagram at Angela Southern Coffee Dishes and Seasonings. You can follow me on Twitter at Angela Dishes. Um, I'm on Facebook at Angela Southern Coffee Dishes and Seasonings. 
and on YouTube at Angela Selling Coffee Dishes and Seasonings. Whatever you do, share this video. I like to always tell you until the next time I bring you another one of my Southern Comfort dishes, take care of yourself and love one another and stay safe through this pandemic. And like I said, wherever you are, if you're in the Midwest or the Northeast where we are, where it's brutally cold, stay warm until you can get somewhere down south where it's warm. Okay, take care. Mm. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me. Bye-bye. Thank you.